All right, in today's video, I wanna show you how to protect yourself against malicious smart contracts. So keep your money safe. It's a common misconception that if you have a hardware wallet, that you have nothing to worry about because it's safer, which it is. However, if you interact with a malicious smart contract that gives that contract access to your tokens, you could still get wrecked. This is because if you make an approval to a malicious or dodgy contract, it can just access your tokens and take them whenever it wants. Of course, this is not something that happens all the time, but it is something that you wanna look out for. If you are yield farming, this is especially important because if you're like me and you're just kind of jumping in and out of things, it's really important that you protect that wallet and make sure that you're not giving access to everyone and anyone. Now, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Let's jump in. Okay, so if you've been in DeFi for a bit, you're gonna know what an approval window looks like, but I'm gonna show you just in case. So let's just say I wanna change this uh, GDL token into uh, Joe. Okay, so if I wanna swap this into Joe, I have to approve GDL. So if I go in here, and uh, this is what an approval window looks like, and usually I just press confirm because uh, I'm usually in the middle of doing something but let's look at the full transaction details. So if you look here and go to edit, you can see here that I'm giving unlimited spend permission to this app to spend all of the coins in this wallet. Now, if I wanted to be super careful and I wanna say, okay, well, I'm only switching out this many tokens, but say I wanted to be super careful and I, I wanna say, you know, say I have a bunch of Ethereum in a wallet and I only wanna be able to spend one Ethereum on this project, then I would set a custom spend limit so that it would limit the amount of access that this contract had to my wallet. So, you know, if you're interacting with contracts or farms that, you know, you're not sure about, uh, or if you think that there's any sort of risk and you have a bunch of one coin in your wallet, I would recommend choosing a custom spend limit so that you can adapt how much they have access to instead of always just accepting that it's unlimited. So that's a way that you can make sure that you're not giving full access to your wallet. And if a shady developer tries to put in some malicious code, there's a limit to how much they would be able to get from your wallet. So that is how you customize how much uh, spend that they can put through your wallet. Now let's talk about if you've already given access to your wallet to a bunch of different contracts, how do we remove those approvals? All right, so you go to dbank, so dbank.com. You wanna connect your wallet. So you'll see here that mine is connected and I wanna to go to approval. So these are basically all the chains and all of the approvals that I've given on this wallet. Now, you'll see here on Ethereum, it'll show you total risk exposure. So basically, right now on this wallet, I have $33 at risk to exposure, um, and I'm not even gonna deal with this right now because $33 is less than I would pay in gas to remove approvals. So it doesn't really make sense for me to do that. However, on chains like Polygon, where the gas is pretty much zero, it's easy for me to just remove these approvals so that I can you know, feel safe in a bunch of other farms that maybe I've given access to. So for example, in this Raider uh, project, there's $2,000 up for exposure there, which if I click on this, I have to switch to Polygon. All right, so now that I have that, what I can do is I can just click decline and then I'll pay a little fee associated with removing this. I will do that here also. So once these go through, what you'll see here is that my total risk of exposure goes down because I've removed approvals uh, on these wallets. Now, let's see what else. It pretty much goes from the highest to the lowest. And like I said, SushiSwap, it's a safe project that I'm not really concerned about, but since the gas is so cheap, I'll just show you how to remove it anyway. 
I'm basically paying no more than, you know, 50 cents to do all of these. And you'll see here, my total risk is going down. So this is how you remove approvals uh, to keep your wallet safe. Let's go on to Avalanche. You can see here, there's only $38 a total risk to exposure here. Um, so again, I don't really have any concern over that. 34 on Binance Smart Chain. So again, I go in here usually every few weeks and I remove approvals that I've given access to um, so that I'm just keeping my wallet safe. So that's how you remove approvals on your wallet easily through DBank. That's it, super simple. The gas fees on Ethereum are of course the most annoying part when you have to take approvals off of there. But trust me, if you have any significant money at risk, you wanna make sure that you remove those approvals and just be careful who you grant access to your wallet. All right, if you like this, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.